I want to talk about the, the red heifer. It's a lot of false prophets always talking about this red heifer that the Jews will go back to animal sacrifice, daily sacrifice or animal sacrifice. You see the red heifer in the Bible, it was not no animal sacrifice. It was not the daily sacrifice of animals. The red heifer is like for the, like if you would touch a dead body for the cleansing of the purification of your sin. If you would touch a dead body. That's what the red heifer was for, the ashes. Like if you touch a dead body. Let me read to you in Numbers uh, chapter 19. In verse 2, it says, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord had commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, with, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. See, that's what the red heifer is for. Like if you touch a dead body, you know, for your sin, because you weren't supposed to touch a dead body. So you would be unclean for seven days. If you would touch a dead body. So if you use the ashes, you had to burn that red heifer. You know, the priest had to burn that red heifer. You know, for the sin of the children of Israel. Like they would touch a dead body or something. Then there would be a purification. They had to be purification on the third day and the seventh day they would be cleansed. You go down in verse 9, it says, And a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer and lay them up on lay them up with without the camp in a clean place, and it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. It is a purification for sin. See, like I was saying, it's a purification for sin. Then you go down like in verse 11 it says, He that touches the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven days. See, you will be unclean seven days if you touch a, a dead body of any man. So that's what that red heifer was for. And stop believing these lying false prophets. Talking about the red heifer is a daily sacrifice. That it's not true. And verse 12 says, And he shall purify himself with it on the third day. And on the seventh day he shall be clean. See, he's going to be clean on the seventh day. But if he purify not himself, the third day, then the seventh day, he shall not be clean. See, he will not be clean if he didn't purify himself on the third day. That's what the red heifer was for. That ash hill, he had to burn that red heifer. The priest had to burn that red heifer, you know, for the, for the people's sin. You know, like if you touch a dead body or something, so they can be cleansed. You know, on the third day and the seventh day, they would be cleansed. See? That's what it says there. You know, that's why you have to read your Bible for yourself and stop believing these lying false prophets like the red heifer. Who's going to be, be talking about it all the time. Talking about people who go back, the Jews will go back to animal sacrifice. They got to get a red heifer. You know, like the red heifer is some daily sacrifice. The red heifer is not no daily sacrifice. You turn to Numbers chapter 28 and verse 3. This is the daily sacrifice. See. All right. I mean, turn to Numbers chapter 28 and verse 3. Let me read it for you. And thou shalt say unto them, this is the offering made by fire, which ye shall offer unto the Lord two lambs of the first year without spot day by day. 
for a continuing burnt offering. The one land shall thou offer in the morning, and the other land shall thou offer at evening. See? This was the daily sacrifice. One lamb in the morning, one in the evening. That's the daily sacrifice in the Old Testament. Now, in the New Testament, the New Testament, the New Covenant, we, we present our body a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, this is our reasonable service. You see? In the New Testament. But in the Old Testament, it was animal sacrifice. It was, you know, one lamb in the morning, one in the evening. This was the daily sacrifice. Don't let these lying prophets fool you. They've been talking about that for many years. Talking about the Jews who go back to animals. From, they're trying to find a red heifer and all that stuff. A red heifer is just for you would touch a dead body so you can be cleansed on the seventh day. The ash of the red heifer. That's what it was for. You know, that's why you got to read for yourself. I try to tell people. That's why the Lord said, Take heed, let no man deceive you. You know, people are deceived by that red heifer. Talking about like it's the daily sacrifice. You know, it's not the daily sacrifice in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, the daily sacrifice was one lamb in the morning and one in the evening. See, the Bible clearly tells you that in Numbers chapter 29 and 28 and verse 3 and 4, it tells you what was the daily sacrifice. So, and these false prophets and preachers don't read to you where to find it at in the Bible, the daily sacrifice in the Old Testament. See, and the people be deceived. That's what I'll be trying to, you know, show you by the word of God. You know, I like to show the people the scripture, what I'm talking about, so that they may understand. You know, they can read it for themselves. The red heifer was not the daily sacrifice. So, that's all I wanted to bring to y'all today. So, take heed, like the Lord said, let no man deceive you. You know, study the word for yourself. You know, many false prophets, many deceivers out there, they deceive you. They'll tell you some of the things that are true. That's what the devil's job. He makes truth up with lies. You know, that's how he deceive you, by mixing truth with lies. Otherwise, if you tell, you tell all lies, you won't be able to deceive nobody. So you have to tell something true so you can believe everything he says that is the truth. So he makes truth up with lies. So, like I said, take heed. The daily sacrifice in the New Testament, we possess our body of living sacrifice. In the Old Testament, it was one lamb in the morning and one in the evening. So, but that's all I want to bring to y'all. So study God's word and may God bless y'all and give you all wisdom. Thank you.